Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C and welcome to another League of Legends video and today I bring you another one of those high win rate build guides and this time we've got a Riven main, his name is Hi, it's a Viper, he's got a stream so if you want to check out his stream I'll put a link in the description, currently he's ranked 44 and he's got a 77% win rate on Riven and he's played over 100 games. So he's obviously a really, really good player to be in the top 50 and have a win rate of over 70% is just insane in my opinion. This is on the North American server if you are wondering. So without further ado, let's get into this guide. So firstly, he plays Riven in the top lane. So obviously this is going to be a top lane focused guide. So starting with his summoner spells, he takes the usual top lane summoner spells, flash and teleport. He doesn't take anything such as flash and ignite or flash and exhaust it always seems to be flash and teleport so now we'll move on to his runes and masteries and he takes the same rune page and the same mastery page in every single matchup I haven't seen him go with anything else apart from this so let's get into it first of all his rune page he takes nine attack damage reds nine armor yellows nine cooldown reduction blues one cooldown quince and two attack damage quince so as you can tell from this the best stats on riven are cdr and attack damage so you can tell with his runes he's got a lot of attack damage and that 10 percent cdr now onto his masteries and he takes 18 points in cunning and 12 points in resolve and his keystone mastery is a thunder lord's decree now this is a pretty standard page on riven most riven mains would take a page similar to this so you guys can just pause the video and copy this if you want to one thing i want to point out is he does take one point in intelligence which gives you an additional 5% CDR so from his runes and masteries all together he has 15% CDR so now we'll move on to his item build so we'll start with his starting item so his starting items will always be a long sword and three pots and a yellow trinket he very rarely started with the Doran's blade or Doran's shield he much prefers going with the long sword as for his first back it would depend on the amount of gold he has so if he has not too much gold maybe about 600 700 gold he would look to get the Doran's Blade as his first back and then maybe a refillable potion. If he doesn't have enough for the refillable potion, he would look to just get maybe one red pot or two red pots. But if he does have enough for the Caulfield's Warhammer, which costs 1100 gold, he would get that instead. As that item gives you 25 attack damage and that 10% cooldown reduction. So this then transitions onto his core build, which is going to be always Black Cleaver, Ghost Blade and Ravenous Hydra. As for his first full item, it would either be the Black Cleaver or Ghost Blade. So which item should you go first with? Well, it depends on the situation. So if you're snowballing your lane and you want to snowball it harder, you can go with Ghost Blade, which provides a lot more burst damage. Apart from that, if the lane's a bit more difficult or you want to take the safer option, Black Cleaver is the best option for that. Once you build one of those items, you would then build into the other item and then Ravenous Hydra. As for boots, he would either take Merc Treads or Ninja Tabbies. Obviously, he would take the Merc Treads against heavy CC comps. Otherwise, he would take the Ninja Tabbies. Obviously, he doesn't take Boots of Lucidity or the cooldown reduction boots because with Black Cleaver, you get 20% CDR. Ghost Blade gives you 10% CDR. And then his Runes and Masteries, which give him 15% CDR, give him a total of 45% CDR, which is max CDR, and you cannot get any more CDR. So there's no point going with boots of lucidity the only other boots he would go with are boots of swiftness but he would very rarely get these boots an example of a final build would be something along these lines so black cleaver ghost blade ravenous hydra merc treads more of mount mortius and Mercurial Scimitar. Mercurial Scimitar obviously has that QSS which allows you to outplay in a 1v1 scenario and as a champion that is what Riven is always looking to do. Other late game items that he would consider to get are Guardian Angel, Lord Dominic's Regards, Mortal Reminder, Steric's Gage and a Titanic Hydra instead of the Ravenous Hydra. Finally we'll talk about his skill order so he would always max Q first, E second, W third and obviously his ultimate whenever you can. The biggest thing about his skill order is choosing it between W or E at level 2. So for the most part you want to take E for the mobility and obviously the extra shield. But against melee champions you can also consider taking W to look for the all in. Another reason to take W second is if you're getting a level 2 gank you can take W for the extra CC and help get that kill. So ladies and gentlemen that's going to be the end of the build guide. Another thing to note is that this is a new account which he only started playing ranked 20 days ago. 
So in 20 days, he's managed to go from unranked to top 50 in North America, which is absolutely insane. Either he's a really, really good player or the NA server is just complete trash. It could be either one of the two, but definitely go check out his stream. A link is going to be in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like. And as always, have a nice day.